here, Lord God, as never before. Jesus. Use her mighty king. Thank you, Lord. In a great way, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for all that you are doing through her, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, mighty God. In a greater, greater capacity, Jesus. As you stretch her to new places, Lord, in you. As you're enlarging her territory. It's international ministry, Lord God. Ministry, Lord Jesus, where you're taking her. All around the world, Jesus. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone, no matter where you're located. I felt compelled this morning to read Psalm 24. It's a short psalm, but I think it is so powerful. It says, in verse 1, the earth is the Lord's and all its fullness, the world and those who dwell therein. Verse 2, for he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Verse 3, he asks a question, who may ascend into the hill of the Lord or who may stand in his holy place? Verse 4, he who has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul to an idol, nor sworn deceitfully. Verse 5. He shall receive blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. Verse 6. This is Jacob, the generation of those who seek him, who seek your face. In verse 7, he encourages, Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. He asks the question again in verse 8, Who is this King of glory? And he answers, The Lord, strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. He repeats again in verse 9, Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and lift them up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. He asks one more time in the closing verse, Who is this King of glory? And he answers, The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Oh, thank you, mighty God, for your word. For those who are new in this service today, we welcome you. If you have small children or any noise in your surroundings, please mute your phone so as not to disturb the service and the flow of the Holy Spirit. You can certainly mute in and out on this Deliverance Day. Take part when you are able because we encourage all to participate if you can. If you have to sneeze, cough, or burp, Please move your mouth away from the phone so that it does not go onto the recording, which will be uploaded to the YouTube channel. We do not have any editing equipment, so whatever occurs in this service, it will be recorded exactly as is, and it will go up on the YouTube channel the same way. So we just ask that you be mindful. For those who want to bless this ministry, whether it be on a monthly basis or whatever the Lord lays upon your heart, you can do so by contacting me at the email address, helpforrepentance, servejesus at gmail.com. It is also posted on the channel. You can copy it exactly as it is, and I will correspond with you and tell you what you need to do. And if you have a testimony, if there's ever time at the end of today's service for a testimony, if the Lord leads that way, we ask that you would come forth and give testimony if it does pertain to this ministry or something that the woman of God has been used to bring forth a change or a testimony in your life that you would speak about it. But if it is something that pertains to the ministry 
where you go, then we ask that you would take your testimony there because it does tell us in Mark 12:17 that we must render to Caesar what is Caesar, but render to God what is God's. And during this special day of deliverance time, we ask that there be no disturbances on the line as the Lord is using the woman of God to tap into the realm of the Spirit. Let us really keep our focus and be conscious. So if you have something that you're doing, please mute your phone. Otherwise, you can certainly worship softly and take part. <laughs> also, we have a new phone system. So please do not have your mouth directly in the phone. You can keep it a distance away, or you can keep it on speaker if you are able, so that it does not knock her out of the system. Also this Sunday, I want to remind everyone as we come into the end of this year, we are going to have two services on Sunday. We're going to be on at 6 a.m. and also coming on in the evening to be together as the year of 2017 comes to a close and we turn the chapter to 2018 will be coming on most likely at 10 in the evening. So what a blessed day we're going to have on Sunday. We're not going to have the noontime service because of the two services, one at 6 a.m. and one in the evening. Now everyone let us worship as the woman of God comes forth in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I glorify him. I love him. I adore him. My God Almighty. You all, my God Almighty, have heard. My God Almighty, I call him my Bunanunus. And I will always do because he has given me the authority to do so. Because this name, my God Almighty, have great meaning to me. My God Almighty, and to me and him. My God Almighty, glory be to God. Every time I call it, I felt his presence. I felt my God Almighty's power. Rebiasha! Mama Sataria Mako Seteri Kandoro Boshende because he knows the love my God Almighty that I have for him the love that bypass the love of a human being Rebe Kotoria Bashanda Mama Kende we bless the name of the Lord Jesus Christ today we thank him for his goodness and his mercy Rebe Kotoria Bashanda I just want my God Almighty for everyone to know this is not my God Almighty a prophet prophecy line and this is not my god almighty condorable shanda a prayer line this is church online my god almighty because god said he will do a new thing throughout the hurt my god almighty a corobo shanda <clears throat> I bless him to know, my God Almighty, hallelujah, that he have kept me and kept you. My God Almighty, have kept everyone so far, even those that are struggling in their body with sickness. My God Almighty, I bless God Almighty, hallelujah, for my course that we can do the everyone life. My God Almighty, especially my God Almighty, Mama Phyllis, my God Almighty, and the many. Oh, God Almighty, that he, my God Almighty, have brought us far. My God Almighty, not to leave. Not to forsake. Rebe Kotoria Bashanda, Mama Keteria Kandoro Bo Sende Ridi Katarala, Roko Seteri Kanda, Mama Kende, and also my God Almighty Mama. My God Almighty cousin, Lord God Almighty, Marco Setri Kandorbo Shende, the many, 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 all of you. My God Almighty Stas Shalando, that was my God Almighty. The enemy was telling in her mind, give up, give up, give up. But my God Almighty, in the in right time, my God Almighty, she came on the line and the Lord God Almighty, my God Almighty, giving her, my God Almighty, that extending of ears upon her life so that she can live and glorify his holy and his precious name for all those, my God. God Almighty, that been going through. I bless the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for His mighty power in the midst. My God Almighty, Rekora Bashandai. My God Almighty, we are in my God Almighty 12 days, the 12 months. We are just two days apart. My God Almighty, to see the ending. And we will, my God Almighty, overcome in Jesus' name. Yes, uh, hallelujah. My, can we say I receive? My God Almighty, people, y'all don't know to receive? 
Raba Kotori Yama Shende, Marco Seteri Kandor Boshende. Mark on that 12, my God Almighty, one, the one, two, and living God, the two, double balance, my God Almighty, if we, of all those that are coming online, all those that tune in on YouTube, all those, my God Almighty, that my God Almighty, my subscribers, my viewers, whoever, if you don't get the double balance as yet, my God Almighty, don't let the air in you, my God Almighty, take it, take it, take it, it is for you all, every one of us to have the double balance in our life, what it means, my God Almighty, to have the spiritual and the physical well put together, so that we can give the name of the Lord Jesus Christ glory and honor in this in holiness and righteousness glory be to God hallelujah today my God Almighty is the 29th my God Almighty look at the day double balance again so he's telling us my God Almighty get ready for double balance for new birth my God Almighty the two that is the double balance and the nine which is new birth my God Almighty I pray my God Almighty that God will birth out something my God Almighty new today so that it can my God Almighty have us to be happy rejoicing going on our way as we live on this earth in the name of Jesus Christ Rebe Kotoria Bashanda in the midst my God Almighty we have 2017 the two again double balance zero don't forget my God Almighty when you tune in on YouTube don't forget when you tune in my God Almighty on the empowerment line it's always cancellation against every plan of Satan so even if the enemy is leading you somewhere that you are not supposed to be in your mind the Lord God Almighty will cancel that out and bring forth to you where he will lead you in the part of righteousness for your name say for his name say glory be to God hallelujah Rabba Kotori Bashanda to cancel every wicked plan of Satan 17 the one my God Almighty standing in the midst the one true and living God the God that cannot fail cannot lie and will never die my God Almighty we are looking for him to do great and mighty thing this year because we know the God that we are serving and if you know the God that you are serving you just my God Almighty I tell you, you get that zeal in the midst to know that you are serving him. Maybe Kotoria Bashandai. Seven, my God Almighty, completion against every wicked plan. Completion against every wicked plan in the name of Jesus Christ. Rabba Kotoria Bashanda. Robo Kotoria Babasete. Raka Sata Mama Konde. I just, my God Almighty, give him praise, glory, and honor for his goodness and his mercy. Marco Setrikandar Boshende. Rabba Kotoria Basanda. The thing that my God Almighty I do not like, the thing that disturbs my spirit is when people come on the line, my God Almighty, especially on even deliverance time. People just come and stay quiet. People don't want to pray. People don't want to worship God. People have got to rise up to tell you all, you're not worshiping me. You're not my God Almighty praying to me. You are praying to the God that you serve. And if his name is the Lord Jesus Christ, you better my God Almighty, hallelujah, purpose in your heart when you come on this empowerment line to lift his name and I because that's what this line is about this line is not a quiet line like a bird sitting on a limb ready to sleep this is not a quiet line line my god almighty where people just come to listen in my god almighty it is something where you tune in and can take part to lift his name and eye it is a privilege Ribi! It is a privilege for everyone, my God Almighty, to tune in. No one should be telling anyone to pray, my God Almighty, when they come in. All you have to do, my God Almighty, hallelujah, just set your phone in a certain way, my God Almighty, open up your mouth and pray. And my God Almighty, whenever I'm being introduced in, that's the time you slow down and keep, my God Almighty, you, you, you know, you keep and watch how you talk and make sure your phone is away from you today, people of God. Do oh God Almighty, I just pray that the noisy people that always come in the midst will able to my God Almighty hallelujah do the right thing my God Almighty like this morning somebody tune in and they forget to mute their phone and they were having conversation about the light the stop light and this and that and Taranat knows what I just pray for wisdom that people will have wisdom to know when they tune in my God Almighty they do the right thing glory be to God hallelujah bless the name of the Lord God Almighty I ask the Lord God Almighty to take over take charge move in his might and his power to do great and mighty things as he my God Almighty, hallelujah. Mama Konde. I bless him, I love him, I praise him. I glorify him, I honor him, I thank him for his goodness and his mercy, for his loving kindness towards us, my God. He is worthy of all praise, of all glory, of all honor. <clears throat> my God Almighty, Rabba Kotoria Bashanda. Bless the Lord. Oh, my soul, 
and all that is within me blesses oh 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 is all in name as I tell people, my God Almighty, my voice is not my God Almighty the way to are to be, but I know my God Almighty is going to become better. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me blesses, oh, 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 is all the name. Because he alone is worthy. Hallelujah. Jesus alone he is worthy. Jesus alone is worthy. Worthy of his praise. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, yes. Thank you, Lord. He's worthy of all his praise, people. He's worthy, he's mighty, and he's powerful. Yes, God. He's a God almighty that cannot fail, cannot lie, and will never die. Yes, Jesus. That's the God he is. Rabba Kotoria Bashende. Roko Satoria Mama Shanda Mama Kende. Can you, my God Almighty, just softly worship him for a minute, my God Almighty? Marco said to the Cardinal Boshende, I, do, I don't remember the name of this lady that was on last week. And she, you know, she we were calling out something. Minister Gay, I don't know if you remember because, you know, you was busy doing other things. But if Prophetess Michelle on, I don't know if she remember, if she's on or if she remember. Where yeah, there was this lady that I told her when she comes on this morning, I will able to speak into her spirit to pray for her. Marco said to the candle bush in there. Rabba Kotoria Basand. I think she she and our dear lovely sister Sister Eleanor was dear to she the both of them speak and I you know time was at hand and I told her this week I will pray for her. But if she's not on as yet Marco said to the candle bush in there. You know, while I was here this morning, and Rabba Kotoria Basanda pray, you know, praying to the Lord and everything, and I heard Sister Merlin came on worshiping God. The Lord started to speak in my spirit. Rabba Kotoria Basanda. So is it a possibility where I can get Sister Merlin? I'm here. I'm here. I don't know. But as I, my God Almighty, hear the voice of the Lord speaking. The Lord said, my God Almighty, let this be a warning. This is what God is saying to me. Let this be a warning because... You've been doing some things over and over and over that is not pleasing to him. And what is he talking about? Whenever you tune in on the line, yes, you tune in. This is your church, as you have said. But you tune in on this line. But at the same time, those that are in your surrounding, in your house, is more important than him. 
This is what God is saying. Because you choose to tune in, but not to tune in to worship and to praise. To worship and to praise him the way you are to. I mean, God is saying, my God Almighty, it's not just you alone that do it, but this is a special. This is a very special warning where you are concerned because you have seen the mighty hands of God upon your life so many times where God has come through for you, my God Almighty, especially the last time when the enemy eat with you. Rebe Marco said, I feel the power of God. Especially the last time when the enemy eat with your voice. And my God Almighty, the enemy has taken your voice completely. You could hardly, my God Almighty, speak. You were only trying to force breath to come out to talk. Come on, talk to me. And in the midst, my God Almighty, of that. The Lord God Almighty have compassion. And the compassion that he have, he has moved my God Almighty mightily because it wasn't just my God Almighty, hallelujah, you, my God Almighty, being always catching a cold name it or one of you, but it was the work of the wicked that want to, my God Almighty, bring you down, my God Almighty, to mute you out of talking. But the Lord God Almighty was able to, my God Almighty, have the woman of God to go in the realm and to see what was going on and to pull down because it was even that bad where something was left locked in your throat and the Lord God Almighty do what pull it out and the Lord God Almighty speak to you that very day that day my God Almighty the miracle that God has my God Almighty bring upon you that day my God Almighty it was something else for everyone to shout because the Lord God Almighty said before the service is over your voice shall come back completely and that's a really <laughs> That's exactly what happened. Come on, can you can you give my Ribi Mama? Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Marco said to the candle shende. Rabba Bashende. In a quick and a second before the service over, you were shouting with a clear voice. Clear, clear voice. And the Lord God Almighty, Marco said to the candle of Shende, has been watching you all the time. You see what you don't know. The word of God said, Oh, the Lord love each. Receive it. Hallelujah. And you don't know, my God Almighty, the love that the Lord God Almighty have for you. You don't even know it. You don't even know it. Marco said to the candle of Oshende. But it grieved the spirit of God when he sit, my God Almighty, in heaven. When he get, my God Almighty, been getting report from the Holy Ghost, from Marco Rebekende. Getting report from the Holy Spirit. You see, many people don't understand that the Holy Spirit report on us. Many people don't understand that, my God Almighty, the angel correspond with the Rebe! With the Holy Ghost and the Holy Ghost report and the Holy Spirit report on us through the Holy Ghost. Come on, people. Oh, this is very powerful. This is a very powerful thing God is saying. Very powerful. Marco said the candle was shende. The Holy Spirit see everything and reason with the angel. And the Holy Ghost make that connection in heaven. Jesus Christ, I love him. People of God, you all don't know the power that is coming from me this morning. Rebe Kotoria Basanda. Marco said to the candle motion, you can softly receive when you hear me shout, people, don't take it lightly. This is no, my God Almighty, making up story. It is a power that will pull down the plan of the enemy when you receive it. Things will happen. Robo Shama Makataria Kande. Raba Kotoria Baba Sende Roko Sataria Mama Kotoria Ba Sende Kotoria Ba Ama Kende Robo Kondari Andalbo Sheke Reke Keke 
Roko Sataraba Kondari Kandaraba Sanda, Mama Shiki Roko Ndaraba Sanda. So, what my God Almighty, the Lord God Almighty, is saying, Mama Shende, is that you have seen the mighty hands of God, but you see many people, because God is not, the, not a man that show up in the midst of many, that my God Almighty will come and say, look, look in your face and point at you and said, what you are doing is not pleasing in his sight. What you are doing, he don't like it. What you are doing, you need to stop. Many people just ignore it. Many people, my God Almighty, claim they are about their business doing whatever they want to do, my God Almighty. And don't understand, my God Almighty, the God that we serve that is a jealous God. That he is a jealous God. That he is a jealous God. My God. Jesus, my Lord, my God. Hallelujah. Jesus. Marco said we can't go shende. Mama Makondai. When I tell many people that this woman of God cannot live into a an apartment people don't understand if I was to be living in an apartment they would put me out long time <laughs> they would put me out long time because I have to shout I have to shout I'm in agreement with the Holy Spirit when he moved for Joshua and the army to bring down the wall of Jericho so I have to Marco said I feel God Shanda Rebe Kendo Yandor Bo Soto. Receive it, mighty king. Marco said to the Kandor Bo Shende. Hallelujah. God said he has given power to trample over scorpion and serpent. So when I showed people of God that his power, grab it and let it trample over the scorpion and the serpent in your all surrounding. I receive it in Jesus. Marco said to the Kandor Bo Shende. Rabba Kotoria Basanda, Roko Sataria Mama, Rokonde. So, as the Lord God Almighty Marco said, the candle was and they continue to speak to our dear sister. It goes not just to her, it goes to everyone as well. But this is my God Almighty pointing, you know, as the Lord God Almighty pointing at her right at this moment. But just know that when God point, listen to this revelation, when the Lord God Almighty point at somebody, don't hesitate to know that the pointing is spewing off like a starlight and coming to you as well. Marco Setri Kandor Moshende. Rabba Kotoria Basanda. So what God is saying, God said he watch you, mute your phone. And in the midst of your muting your phone, you have people coming in your surrounding or you leave the phone and you're gone. My God Almighty to talk with them. Sometimes when they are in certain conversation, they're there talking. And, and see, the Lord God Almighty said, you are not showing the example to your family. You are not showing that example so that the fear of God can able to grow. I feel the power of God, y'all. Amen. God is saying you are not showing the example. Many, my God Almighty, that is on the line right now. Many that are tuning in on YouTube, listening to me right now. You are not showing the example to your family. That is the reason why your family can't able to tap into Jesus. Because you, the way you are living, the way you are going about your business, the way you are doing things. There is no fear. And there is no, my God Almighty, there is not, my God Almighty, a condolable shanta, the welcoming of the Holy Spirit in the midst. So that there can be liberty over the plan of the family. Jesus name. Marco said the candle was shende. That is the reason why you find my God Almighty many times your family are like that. Marco said to the candle was shende. I make up in my mind not to play with my son, not to play with my daughter. I'm very radical with them. I don't play. Marco, I'ma tell it as it is. And if they whether they want to believe it or not, it's up to them. It's, that's their business. That's their business. Especially my daughter, I don't play with her. 
Mako seturi kandor boshende. Raba kotoria basanda. And the Lord God Almighty is saying, If you, my God Almighty, and you know what happened? I'm speaking to you, but at the same time, you need to respond. Amen. You need to respond because you know God is speaking. You know God, God, you know, the God watching people of God. We don't understand that God watch us, whether you have a calling or not on your life. God watch you from a distance. He watch you. Amen. He watch over every one of us. Every one of us. Rabba Kotoria Bashende. He watch over every one of us and people of God. When you have the fear of God on your life, you walk on a chalk line with God. Rebe Asha! Yes, I receive it in Jesus' name. Rabba Kotoria Basanda. Rika Sotoria Besende. And God said, My God Almighty, He have seen it, He have heard it. Rabba Kotoria Basende, Roko Sata Mama Kondai. People come in the midst of you, my God Almighty, and the presence is not there to grip them. Because you don't gather in that presence where you are. God said, yes, if you prayed. God said, yes, you pray. This is an example to everyone, even though the Lord God Almighty is speaking to Sister Merlin. It goes to everyone that is doing and behaving the same way. It's everyone. People come in the midst of your surrounding and my presence is not there to grip them, to say, oh God, I felt something. You see what people don't understand as all as this little whole house is. I tell people, people of God, that I'm living in the worst house on the, on, in the whole, maybe in the whole community that is livable. The worst house. It's not even a house that is livable. But because he lives with me, I can live in this house. If God wasn't in the midst of me, I would not be able to live in this house. Marco Seterikandor Boshanda. Rabba Kotoria Basende. But the thing about it, my God Almighty, without his presence, oh God, I would know I would be very miserable. Marco Seterikandor Boshende. So what I'm saying, my God Almighty, is that the Lord God Almighty have seen you. Whenever you are to go anywhere, you just gone. Sometimes you don't even remember to say, Lord, you think I should go? You think I should not go? You just gone. If your family said, come, you just said, yes, I'm coming. If your family said, run, you said, all oh, fast. If they said jump, you say ask them how deep, how high. It's like you're not in control of your own life. Because there's a fear that wanted to grip you. Come on, talk to me. Because, listen to people, you all have to hold back your voice so that I hear her alone. Can you listen how she's talking? She whispering because her voice has been touch with the plan of the enemy disrupt not even touch it has been disrupt Marco said to the candle bush and you know I sit here while minister gay comes in and started to talk I hear the Lord God Almighty said she better this is what God said to me she better don't Continue. She better stop doing what she's doing because if she continue doing what she's doing, whenever that voice left again, it's going to be for a long while. This is not glory. This is of mercy, Jesus. Some, when you hear God speak some way, people of God, you have to know what to put there. You don't say glory. You said mercy, Jesus. Because he's speaking with judgment. He said, if it happen again, 
this time it's going to be a very long while where you're going to be writing and just sitting there and can't say things because he has given you that mouth <clears throat> to praise him to glorify him he said look at your, chil your, your children and your grandchildren as, as I said it goes to everyone that is doing the same thing Look at your children and your grandchildren. They are not praising God. They have no interest, not even for the empowerment line. They don't respect it. They come in the midst. They talk because you mute the phone and give them the authority to chat. Come on, talk to me. This is not no amen thing. This is yes, it's true. Marco said to the candle Boshende. Rabba Kotoria Basanda. Running like a chicken without a neck. And in the midst of this time of the year, you have been warned. Cover your head. Cover your neck. Make sure you dress. Really? And what you think, my God Almighty, the enemy use to come up against the children of God or against those that need to come in or against those that tell themselves they will not serve him. Because you have a car, because oh, I'm talking to everyone, because you all have a car out there, the enemy tell you, oh, you have a car, you don't have to dress that well. You don't have to cover your head. You don't have to this. You know, you're just going to run into the car and then you run from the car to where you're going to buy something. And then you're going to jump back in the car and da, da, da. But what many don't get and understand, my God Almighty, what is making many sick? Listen to this. You know what is making many sick? It's not the run many times. That is one. But I'm going to tell you what is making many sick. <coughs> <clears throat> what is making many sick is when many don't turn on their car and warm it up and they go and sit in the cold car come on talk to me many don't realize that oh I turn the heat on the heat soon come on you don't know, my God Almighty, that that call, that lock inside there is waiting to lock in somebody's bodies. Come on, people. That's true. Yes. Yeah. He called the spirit. So when you believe that you just running up the road or you just going there and going there without your head cover, without your neck, look what you do. You run through the call. That is no, that is dangerous. And you, you went and sit in your car and ready to go forth without it even turn on. Oh, God. Jesus have mercy, God. And don't see that, my God Almighty, this is dangerous for your body. And every year the same thing keep happening over and over. Over and over, over and over again. They better call me the pigeon woman because I'm going to pad myself going that call because that call have no conscience. None at all. That call don't have any conscience. It don't. And just as our God would say he's not a respecter of person, that call don't respect anybody. That's right. It don't respect anybody. It is for us to know that we are living, whoever God is speaking to, you know that you are living in a cold place. The, 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 when the time changed to call, you have to use wisdom. What about many? Just like you. Oh, my hair just, I just did my hair. I wanted to show it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I just have my nice ear style. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm alright. Nothing is wrong with my hair. I'm okay. My hair just finished. I can, my hair is alright. I'm okay. 
You see, even the young people, them, let me tell you something about these young people. They don't feel it yet. They might not even able to live as long as us. Amen. Right. Oh, I'm hot. Oh, I don't want a lot of clothes on me. Oh, this, oh, that. I'm okay because my body always eat up. It's best for you to go in the car with the clothes and then when the heat is on, if you have to take off and then put it on when you're coming out in the cold, you do it. Than to be walking around ski, skingy feet. Skingy feet and claim that you're cute. Yeah. Yeah. Skingy feet and claim that you, you're cute. You don't want to pad too much. You don't want to wear too much things. You don't want to this. And sometimes some of us have a way of, of, of um, what you call it, interpret the weather. Oh, I don't think it's good. It don't, it don't look as if it is that cold. Let me see. And then when the, when the call fix your business, you start to say, Lord, oh, oh, I'm pain up. I'm not feeling well. I'm, and, and that's something, this, this little one inside here, he loved to do that with me. The last time that happened to him, not even a prayer I pray for him. I said, you're going to suffer the consequence. When I speak, you don't hear, you shall suffer the consequence. Sometimes you have to give tough love and let people feel what you're talking about. That is wisdom. You might be surprised to know they're not going to die. You're not going to sit and watch them die. No. Just like the other day he was here and he had this thing. Squeezing his nose and blowing and going prank and popping his ears prank and moving his. I said, "Stop it! It is not good. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it!" Three mornings, morning ago, that thing hit him so hard. It hit him like a rocket. What? I don't know if it's but that's what it is called, rocket socket, whatever it is called. When that thing eat him in his ears, he could not sleep throughout the night, throughout the morning when he go to sleep. From about 12 o'clock right back, he keeps getting a little sleep wake. <sighs> and my God Almighty, when I look at his ear side, it was swollen, people. He, he irritate that thing till it was swollen. All he was doing is just like popping his, squeezing his nose and blowing and, you know, pushing that ear through his ears. It's like his ear jump pop. <clears throat> yes. What they said it is, my teacher. I said that's dangerous to do. Very dangerous. Very. I keep telling him he would not hear me. He wouldn't. Oh, from I was small, I do this. Oh God, help me, Jesus Christ, help me. You don't. Y'all don't know what I'm facing with this young man. You know what happened? When the pain hit him so hard, I said, come. I could not watch him, people, because I remember the, to the last toothache I have. Yeah. And I said, come. And I said, come, come and lay beside me. Because anybody lay in my bed get healed. Anybody lay in my bed get healed. Jesus. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I tell him to come and lay beside me and I just, all I did one of the times is just put my hand right at his ears and said in the name of Jesus I curse your pain, I curse you and I just curse it and leave him there and he sleep. When he wake up, everything gone. Glory be to God. Marco said to the But what I'm trying to say people of God is <clears throat> To um, Sister Merlin, the dreamer, she have a very great, great gifts like Joseph. She dream. I thought one time she was a prophet, but she's a dreamer. And God speaks to people with dream. Show you the future, tell you things, and you see it happen. That's how it happened with her. When she dream things, it come to pass many times. That's the, that's a, that's a very great gift that she have. Yes, it is. Glory to God. Marco said to the candle motion there. 
And God is saying he's not pleased with your behavior. As I said, people of God, oh, the Lord love it, he chase it. Amen. Amen. And if he love you and he chase you, he's going to correct you. But make sure Amen. it is for each and every one of us to take it as a warning. <coughs> the Lord God Almighty look at my God Almighty Ezekiah and what he tell Ezekiah. Ezekiah set your house. Set your house in harbor. Marco set the candle bushende. God is saying, set your house in harder. Because it grieve him to see the way you are living. Especially when you have guests come over. It's like everybody just get wild like home alone. You all watch home alone. When they were going on the flight, everybody was just do 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 up and down in the house. <clears throat> They were all up and down in the house, running, running, running. And the mother was so, my God Almighty, wicked. You see, she don't discipline the little boy. She let him talk to her any and any of. Very, very fresh. True. And then, she, what she, how she want to punish him, go up in the room and lay down. Until you're so and so. And then when they, when it was time and they were running up and down, he said, he, this, he, she sent him all the way up in the attic. This is a revelation, people. She sent him all the way up in, a, in the attic. He went up into the at attic and he sleep. He said, he wish if he, 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 he wish if his family could disappear. And he went up into the attic. And what they didn't understand, the reason why the young man was like that, he need attention. Yes, yes. As a little boy, he need attention and nobody was paying him any mind. He went up into the attic. And when he went up into the attic, when they wake up, they overslept, everybody get up, start to run like they're mad. Look when the mother remember him. Look when the mother remember him when she, when she reached Paris. Can you imagine that slackness? And that's the thing about many. We remember God. We want to do for God when we get to the heights of situation that want to look as if it even want to kill us. Marco said to the candle there. We remember God when when things get bad many times. It is like when things don't get bad. When things get bad, that's the time we want to pour out and want to give him our heart and want to get to, you know, want to say, Lord, take my life and consecrate it, Lord, unto thee. Lord, I give you my heart, my mind, my soul, my body, my every part of me. Forget for even for even forget that some of you that married give your heart to your husband and your wife. You want to tell God to take it when he said, mm, I can't take it because some Somebody else in it. When 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 guests come over, Sister Merlin, it's like you forget God. You're you're tuning in the service, but you're not with the service. Come on, talk to God. Tuning in the service, mute out, but not with God. Everybody come in. Everybody pack up in the midst of your surrounding. Or if they're not packed up, they're out, my God, might in the living room, wherever talking. And you mute the phone, you put it down, and you're going out there, and you're going to talk with them, and you're going to have fun with them. And then, and then when you're ready, you're running back. And you have a way of coming back and say, Hallelujah. Yeah. And do whatever. God is not pleased. Many of you that come on the line do it. Yeah. You all can admit it. You can say, yes, it's true. <laughs> this is true, Lord. 
me is true, Lord. Hallelujah. Taking what the woman of God is bringing forth for granted because there's a YouTube channel and even so some of you don't even go on YouTube channel the way you are to go on it and sit down and let whatever as Minister Gay would say Mary, Mary, Mary what come on my teacher when you listen when you really listen Oh um, to refresh the message by listening again Yes let it sit in your spirit in your spirit. Mm -hmm. Many of you don't do it. Yeah, Many of you don't do it. What the word is, um, Teacher Crystal? I just hear like she talk. I am here. No, I thought you just called the word. Marinate. Right. Marinate. That's the word. Ruminate. That's the word I. The word would say ruminate. Right. That's the word I hear. Yeah. The right. Sit and let that happen. Many of you don't do that. Many of you take it for granted. Other people out there is taking advantage advantage of the channel. Oh, oh hold on, hold on. Listen to that crap. Listen to that. Yes, God. Minister Gay, look for that person. Mute that person out. Yes, mercy, God. Hallelujah. Mercy. Marco said to the candle, Shanda. That's the radical part of me people going to see on this line. Whenever people disturbing the line, they're going to get mute out. Holy Ghost correction, opposition. Holy God. Holy Ghost opposes us, Apostle. Yes, God. Marco said to the candle, Shanda. Robo Kotoria Basanda. Rabba Kondolobo City. So what God is saying, Sister Merlin, and to everyone, taking the things of God for granted. Oh, Jesus, help me. Mercy, God. You know, a message that the Lord has given me this morning while I was before him and reading and getting in the word. The Lord God Almighty given this word to me. Let me see if I find it because I make sure I write it down. He said, this is a message I want you to bring forth to my people. Listen to this word. Marco said to the candle of Shandai. Do not ignore the things, the things of God or the work of God. Listen to me. He said, do not ignore the things of God or the work of God. Don't care what you're going through. Don't ignore him. True, that's right. Eh? Don't ignore the work of God. God said, I want you to bring it forth one of these days. I'll let you bring it forth. Because many don't understand who he is. I don't know when he's going to bring it. Maybe this come this, this this new here it will it will in Jesus name. Yes it will. Thank you Jesus. Yes it will. Marcos said the candle was shende. And he also he also what he did what you think he did? He just said to me turn your bible and drop me right into a scripture that pertain to it. Marco said to the candle Shende. But Sister Merlin, God is saying that he's not pleased the way. He said for months, for months upon months upon months, he's watching your behavior. And God said, Look at your gift. How oh, many times throughout the year you get powerful dream to say, Oh, I dream this dream, and when you say it, it happened. Come on, talk to the Holy Ghost. Yes. They are oddly, oddly, oddly any dream you're able to get. Come on, talk to me. Yes. Why? Because you're ignoring God. Letting others feel good and letting God feel bad. Lord Jesus Christ, Minister Gay, write that one down. I did. Letting others feel good and God feeling bad. Yes, yes, he's a jealous daughter. What a sadness. It goes to everyone that is doing these things. Everyone. 
Everyone. You know what God's saying to me? Hey! Oh, Jesus! My bonononos! My bonononos! My bonononos! My bono. You see, this name must be heard all over the world that I call him my bonononos. Yes! Whether people want to like it or not, it is my God Almighty a relationship that I have with him. It bypassed the love of a human. Yes. Yes. So I able to call him. He have given me the authority to call him my bonononos. You know what God is saying to me, to people of God, and listen to this. Because you see, who the Lord love it, he chase it. And if he's talking to Sister Merlin, he's talking to the woman of God as well. Amen. He said, even with the woman of God, in the midst of all what she's doing, it doesn't matter how I... She get with him all or, or, or deeper depths she get with him. It doesn't matter what she do, da 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 because he is God and she has given him the authority in her life to lead her in the path of righteousness. He said he have watched her talking about listen to this talking about <laughs> Oh, um, let me hurry up and pack. Let me hurry up and do this. Let me hurry up and this, this, this. Because I would like to leave out at a certain time. God said, listen to this. God said many times he watched the woman of God. When she can ignore certain things and just come and spend some time. Yes, you're listening to the word. You're talking to him in your heart. and your daughter. But yes, God said he's jealous at times when the woman of God, they're doing all kind of things and not sitting down. Having a little time with him. Yes. I wonder if you all hear this. Yes. yes. He said many times he watched a pastor Sharon doing this. Doing this. Yes. And talking about, oh, um, let me hurry up because I don't want the winter to catch me. I don't want it this. I don't want it that. God said, mm hmm. You think you run things? Mm -hmm. True. You think you run things? If you if you if you was, was to run things, why you have me leading you? Yeah. Who you think God is talking to a pastor Sharon Hamilton? So when I when I talking, you, know, you see, listen to me. As a prophet of God, God have a way of moving upon words, but He don't have to move on everything you say as a prophet. He don't. Amen. Because He said He's not a respecter of man. Is not a respecter of person. You see what people have to understand, you know, this is a line of this 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 empowerment line. This empowerment line is an empowerment line that makes correction in life of everyone. Many people don't understand that's what an apostle do. That's what God used an apostle to do. Great work, great, great work. Great work. It's not about apostle come it's not about an apostle coming prophesying, prophesying, prophesying. No. Make correction. So if God can do it to the woman of God, what says anyone else? Amen. And if God, if God, if something has happened, God, you see, that's the thing about it. That's why I call him my bonanonos. Whenever he said, all right, my daughter, you go forth and talk now. I have to open up and talk on myself. Amen. So God is saying... He's not pleased with all these behavior. He is not pleased. The way he see things operate, he's not pleased. And many of us, many of us, we believe. That all that we are doing is pleasing unto God when it is not. You see, when God wants to do something in our life, 
he will not do it until we get the real deal of what is in the midst for. Amen. He will not do it. Whether you want, oh, oh, how oh, oh, you know God favor me and you know God is going to, that is the reason why I look at it. There are so many people coming with their testimony. The God used the woman of God, pray for people and people is coming through. People listen to the, the channel, all the prayer, all day. if I pray for you, I pray for everyone. That's all the prayers are. And in the midst of it, look how many people coming through, oh, they testify, things is happening, this is going on, that is going on for this one, that is going on for that one, but still the woman of God have to be waiting still God want to show us that he's, he's a, not a respecter of person you cannot force the hands of God you cannot for me to call, listen to me, for the woman of God to call God, or no, 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 people of God, and people get to understand what it means. It takes a great, my God Almighty, discipline and everything for these things to come forth. That's the truth. Speak only ghost. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Nobody ever hear, no, hear nobody look at God calling, the, calling him their bono, no, no. Nobody. But when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done, listen to me, all that he has done and allowed to happen in my life, my soul cries out, now you are my bono no Yes, Jesus. Yes. People don't get it yet. Yeah. Until people get it, they, I, the message is on YouTube. I pray that people listening to it. Is it out there, by the way, Minister Gain? If you can't, and Teacher Crystal, and if you can't tell me if it is there. Yeah, it's there. It's there. I to it. yeah. Glory be to God. God bless you all. God bless you all. It is there. Amen. Yeah. yeah. Before somebody criticize, listen, listen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Listen, Amen. listen before you criticize, listen to it. Then you will understand yes. why I call him my yes. bono no no. He is pleased at what he hears, hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. So, Sister Merlin, and for everyone. God is saying, you better make it, you, make a, you better do right. Amen, I receive it. You better, you all better do right. Because God, you see, it's, it's just like some weeks ago, the Lord come forth and said, He want to bring, brings in the cancellation blessing. Yes, God. Amen. He want to bring in, bring in, He want to bring in, the blessing that ca causes things to happen in your life when you least expect it. One, two, three, bam. He want to do so much things in each and every one life. So many things. So many things. Thank you, my teacher. He want to do so many things in each and every one life. But... That is the reason why you see God. That is the reason why you see God use a boat. That's why He said he, he will go and prepare a place for you and I. But He said, but, but if we miss it, but if we messed up, we won't get it. That's what the boat mean. But if we don't follow His commandment, if we don't do the things that God want to, want for us to do, how can He do things for us? This is what God is saying. And we need to take a check at our life. Amen. You think I don't take a check at what God is doing when I see things not happening and I sit down there with my face want to make up like Miss Piggy. And oh Lord, Lord, you know I'm praying and Lord, you know I'm this. Uh -huh. God said your face don't frighten me. This is what many of us don't understand. Our face don't frighten God. Amen. 
When we want to come before him and make up our face and look sad and carry on. and Lord, you promised that a kettle of a thousand eels belong. I don't know what's wrong with some of us. Some of us need to shut our mouth and sit down and our behind and think it over the way we are treating him. Yes. 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 Think it over the way we are treating him. When we want to come and tell him, Lord, your word said that you might that 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 you will never see the righteous forsake nor the seed begging bread. But still yet yeah, the righteous must not be forsaken. But the righteous many times is in wrong, wrong standing with him. Yes. Yes. Not doing things that is pleasing to him, and he said, "He's not a God that he sh he's not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent." Numbers twenty three nineteen. He said it. He said it. Whatever he said goes. Many of us are waiting on God for great things, but you know the reason why some of us things not coming true. He's looking for us to set example. He wants for us to set example, people. Yes, he does. Right. You think I can come on the line? Oh, God. Oh, God. You know, I, I'm happy for you all. But, you know, people of God, I call him my bonanus, but I don't know why is he treating me like this. I don't know why he's not this. And I, I better shut my mouth and sit on my behind and think it over. Think it over. Think it over before we sin ourselves. I'm going to pray for you, my dear. Marco said to the candle bush in because he's a loving and merciful God. My sister Merlin. Hold back your voice, people. You have to, my God Almighty, do better than what you're doing. God has been warning you for the longest while. And he said, this is a last warning he's giving you. Last warning. Maybe the next time. Maybe the next time the woman of God. Probably have to. Lay out like Moses and said, Lord, remember you said so and so. And if you don't do it, they're going to say you're not God. And the only way the woman of God can do that, unless he allow her to do it. Because, you see, just as all the Lord God Almighty speaking, Jeremiah, dear, and said, if you pray for them, I will not answer. You think God not talking to us too? Amen. Right, he is. Yes, he is. We better get it that he's talking to us too because when we are sitting in the seat of the scornful, that's where we go wrong. Doing what the scornful are doing. We have to take heed. The Lord God Almighty said, this is another thing God want me to tell you. God said, don't let nobody because they come to your house, you're going to my God Almighty, see them, deal with them and see them more than all you're supposed to see God. They're supposed to see the Christ in you and said, really and truly, my sister, my cousin, my whatever is serving God. So I think I want to serve the God that you serve to. You know what, God, listen to me, many people believe that is, tr is trouble and problem alone causes many people to run to God. You know what can make people run to God? A great testimony. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. A great testimony. When you have a great testimony to tell, look what the Lord has done for me. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me say something, people of God. Listen to this. You know, one of the next things we can look into with the testimony. Listen to this. Whenever we are telling the testimony, make sure the power 
of God. The presence of God is in the midst. A testimony without the presence of God is like wind that is blowing in the wind in the valley without any tree. True. Listen to me. Listen to this one. Listen to this one that the Lord has given to me. A great a, a testimony without the presence of God is like there the wind. 29 attendees in this conference. A testimony without the wisdom of God is like a valley where the wind is blowing very cool and there is no tree to swing with it. I wonder if you all hear what God said. You hear that wisdom that God just bring? That's our testi That's our great test. A great testimony. You're telling the testimony, but the presence of God is not there to grip the person. So let the person say, "Oh my God! Oh my God! Ooh, Jesus! That's great, man! Ooh, that's wonderful, man!" But if you have the presence of God in the midst, it will get the person attention and will get the person attend attend unto what you are saying and their focus up to God. So we better get it and check ourselves the way we are too. We better. And one of the things that God said I'm to say to his people on this empowerment line, and Minister Gay, put this in your note. Yes. One of the things that people need to understand with this empowerment, you know what I love about this brother, I don't, I, he probably online, this brother that he came on this morning was praying the word and name it. And what is, what are you there, my brother? What's your name? He came on early this morning. He was reading the word of God, praying it and what of you. The one that I ministered to, I pray for last week. About his... Brother Joseph. Brother Joseph. You know what I love with Brother Joseph? What he said? He said... Let me, let me, let me say what I'm saying first. The Lord God Almighty said, what people need to get and understand with this line. This is no line that want to disgrace nobody. This is not a line that want to bring, listen to me, this is not a line that want to bring down nobody where people is saying, oh, they are ashamed because people is going to hear their business and people is going to this and people is going to that. What God said, what do you prefer? Do you prefer to live in your trials and your mess and your this and your that than to know that it has been exposed and the devil cannot use it to keep you down again than to keep it and can't able to rise. Because what people need to understand, that is the reason why God used the woman of God to bring out every little thing about herself. How many people you think would talk about themselves like how God used the woman of God to do it? Not many. Not many. Even when something is going on with the woman of God's vagina, God wanted to put it out there. Tell them about your vagina. Tell them what go up into it. Tell them about the infection that you did have and I heal it. Come on, people. Glory, glory, glory. Isn't that something private? Isn't that something private, people? That's my private business. But guess what? Yes. To others, things like those are not my private business because if it was my private business, I would get a store, put it on shelf and mark. Come and buy infection in vagina and get rich. Yes. One of you all hear what I'm saying? Yes, yes. But because it belonged to Satan, God said, step on the neck of Satan, expose that old dragon. Glory, glory. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And many times when the Lord call out things, people are, is afraid to say, you know, I am one of them. I'm going through it as well. 
Many people don't want to do that. Many people is ashamed. Look at it. You are ashamed what you don't understand how much Satan stain you with that shame. Yeah. Yeah. That's the truth. Yeah. That wicked old dragon. So what God is saying, many people need to understand in the midst of, of this empowerment line, when you come and deliver on time or whenever on the time and the Lord show the woman of God things and call it out, don't believe that the woman of God is exposing you. The woman of God has been more exposed more than all of you. Amen. True. Yes, 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 yes woman of God. Try in the fire. Hallelujah. So if you want to be set, delivered and set free, you better say, Lord, it's me. If not, don't answer. If not, you don't have to answer. Set us free. Because it cannot, it cannot be in secret. Why? It must be exposed. When you ex what God said, whatever is on the house, stop, expose it. Uh, it's as in the closet. Whatever is in the closet, expose it, let it go on the house, stop. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Marco said to the candle, Shende, I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray for my God Almighty sister Merlin. You see, God used her, but he's talking to everybody. And, I and I'm praying for I'm praying for the miracle of God. I am praying for the miracle of God to fall on Sister Merlin right now. Let me say something to her. Sister Merlin, listen to me. Sister Merlin. Do you accept and know that you have gone wrong with God? Yes. All right. Well, since you do the time, you, you know, you tell him how much you're going to try your best to do better. <laughs> hold on your voice, people. Hold on your voice, people. <clears throat> Let me pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, King of the universe, God of more than enough. I don't even know if evangelist is, is in the position to, to sing with me this day. My God Almighty. Marco said to the candle, but I'll sing. I'll sing. I will sing unto the Lord a new song. Yeah. Marco said to the candle of Oshende, It is no secret that God cannot do what he has done for others. Who is that? You cannot sing with me. Hold up. You cannot sing with me, my dear. It won't come out properly. It won't come out properly. What happened is that on the line, it delays. If I'm singing and you're singing along with me, you're singing delay. Mine is ahead of you. That's why we don't have everybody come and sing together. Thank you very much. You have a nice voice. But we cannot sing together on the line. That is the reason why we only have certain people singing. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. What he has done for others, he will do for you. With his arms wide open. He will pardon you, Sister Merlin and everyone. Yibabasha! There is no secret that God cannot do. No, 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 no. It is no secret. When the Lord bring it out, 
Because the devil want to oppress you And have you stay quiet But when God speaks through the woman of God Or the man of God He's doing something new for it is no secret again Right there you will become new For with his arms wide open He ready to part then his children it is no more secret So just give him praise and glory Amen Father in the name Yibabasha In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth King of the universe Miracle working God Signs and wonder God Healer Bomber True physician My personal relationship Where I call you My bunununus Wherever Sister Merlin is and many others that come in agreement with what you have said, send your mighty hands right now. Touch. Touch right now. Touch. Yabababasha! Mama! Rivia! Mama Kanda! Touch right now. Touch right now. Touch, touch her throat right now. Touch her throat right now. Yes, touch her. Rebiasha! Mama, mama! Rebe, be, be, be. Touch her throat right now, God. I receive it. I receive it. Touch her throat right now, God. Prove yourself. Prove yourself, miracle working God. Prove yourself, God of Abraham, Jacob, and Isaac. Prove yourself, God! Up Sharon Hamilton, prove yourself right now. I command thee the work of thy hands, I command fire. I command fire to consume that hoarseness. I command fire of Jesus Christ to open up the passage of her throat right now. I command the power of God to fall like rain upon her right now. Father, you said you know the art, the thoughts, you know everything. And you're a very compassionate God, a God, my God Almighty, of many chances. I don't, I don't choose to say it second chance. Mm -mm. Many chances, many chance. Marco said to the candidate Shende. So I ask you, Lord God Almighty, to take over in the midst of her surrounding with her relationship with your God. I ask you to help her to get it fixed. Help her to get it fixed, God. Help her to put her house in harder, Lord Jesus Christ. You know, Lord God Almighty, hallelujah, those that are around her, that my God, believe that they have arrived. Believe that they are high and mighty, my God Almighty, with their behavior, everything. Father, Holy Spirit, as she pray, God, help her, Jesus, for things to be fixed. As everyone pray, God, and cry out for you to fix their situation, and help them to fix it, God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I ask of you, before Lord God Almighty, this service over. Even when she been my God Almighty minister to show your power, I command thee the work of thy hands. I command the power from an eye to fall upon her right now. Right now, right now, right now, right now. Receive, receive, receive. And for her throat to come forth. 
name out. I call forth that throat right now to come forth. I command you, hoarseness, take your flight right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are not of God, hoarseness. Take your flight, take your flight, take your flight right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Sister Merlin, I want you to sing a song right now. I want you to sing a song right now. Sing a song. Sing a song without doubt. Sing a song without doubt. Tap into faith. be to God. Hear the song she sings. She said touching Jesus is all that matters. Amen. And my life will never be the same. I rise up to tell you watch and see the power of God come in because before this service your voice must come back in Jesus name. I call it forth. I call it forth. I call. Amen. 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 Glory be to God. All God wants for us to do is not to stop people stop talking about touching the M of God's garment. Jesus is not passing by again. The Holy Spirit is in the midst. So the Holy Spirit is watching your heart. And when your heart touch him, that's how the transformation will take place. Let your heart touch God. Amen, I receive it. Go forth, go forth, minister again, in Jesus' name. Yes, Sister Merlene. Talk about what the Holy Spirit has revealed today. And I want you to testify about those areas that the Holy Ghost is tapping into, getting to your situation. If you can speak, open your mouth and speak of what God did for you today. Go forth, my sister, in Jesus' name. The Lord, everything that Apostle Sean was saying is true. When I'm here, sometimes I'm here with just my grandkids, babies. And they make nice. I have to mute things. Sometimes I'm muting and mute out. And yet, sometimes I have people come by. And they talk. And I don't want them to disturb the service. And I will mute the phone. Mm -hmm. So the Lord is telling the truth. When he said that I mute out, I will be talking with someone. And then I will come back. So everything that the Lord is saying, is what he's telling the truth. Without me, I can say that exactly what is happening. And also, I think the important thing the Holy Ghost was saying is not only the muting out, but it's the standard that He's holding you to, the example that He wants you to be for those that are around you, and how He wants you to present your witness to them. Can you testify about that and speak about that? I will talk because I will talk to my kids about God. But it's like they take me for a joke. It's like when I'm telling them about God, it's like he going to one ear and he comes to the next. It's like they're not listening to me because they don't believe in what I'm saying to them. And I know, as pastor said, if I was more serious into God, maybe that will shake them up to know that. Yes, she's a really person of God. Dogs, I have 
what the Holy Ghost is also saying is the word that keeps coming to me is compromise, right? When they see that we're not shaken, that we are a certain way and we don't compromise, whether they believe in it or not, they can see that steadfastness and that, you know, lack of compromise into what they are doing. It's almost like when somebody's in the water and somebody is drowning and you hand them a life preserver. You don't go in the water with them and start flailing around and, you know, start sinking along with them. It's that, you know, presenting that anchor, that steadfastness in their midst that they know they're going to grab onto something. But if two people are there and one isn't remaining strong, that other person will pull the one who thinks they're stronger down to their level. And that's the that's what I felt the Holy Ghost was was saying is that regardless of their behavior, it's your steadfastness, it's your unwavering and your commitment that will turn them around because they think that they can get away with it. What do you feel about the Holy Ghost was saying about you know? This is the last warning. How does that does that witness to you? It makes me go and go deeper with him because I don't want him to turn his back on me. So I'm gonna go more deeper. I'm gonna more focus on him because you know when you like turn him back on you, you have no one else to talk to. So I have to go. I'm just gonna take myself and just put myself with him and go deeper because I don't want him to. And I know the woman of God brought forth, you know, and we had this, this very powerful teaching. I think it was about maybe, well, we were in the 10th month, so it had to be October when, when we had the Ten Commandments. And what keeps coming to mind as we think about the Ten Commandments is what did he say, you know, in the, in the very beginning. The first thing he said when he said, I'm the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. The first one he said is, you shall have no other gods before me. Before he went into anything else. And, um, and, and I think that's what the Lord spoke at one point while the Holy Ghost was ministering to you. Is that taking the things of God for granted, not having Anything that stands before him, and that includes our family members, that includes our job, our money, anything that would be a God before him. And you know, he does love us when he chastens us, and I can tell you, I can admit for myself, and I'm going to say this publicly on the line, because God was speaking to me. Last uh, Sunday, was this past Sunday, was a very powerful time in the Lord, and I at times was preoccupied with the situation with my mother. And instead of me focusing on what I was doing in the service, I was watching her and, you know, watching her physical situation. And that right there is, you know, commandment number one. Yes, I love my mother. Yes, you love your children. Yes, you love your grandchildren. But I can say I was putting something else before him. And he is so jealous. Why would he put that commandment as the first? Before all the others. Before killing? Before adultery? Before stealing? God is so serious about that. Even before keeping the Sabbath day. He is so serious. When he said that as the number one commandment. So for you, you know, the message that he brought forth for you is that you have a great gift as a dreamer to be able to be used by God to dream and then it comes to pass. And what the Lord is saying is he just doesn't want that robbed from you. He doesn't want anything blocked or stopped 
from using you and the gifting that he's given you. And for and, and in everything that he does, to acknowledge not only him, but when testimony time comes, to acknowledge how the Lord used the woman of God in your situation, to be the watchman, to dig the roots, to pray, and to give that proper testimony, you know, in the right way. To acknowledge. It's not, it's not her, the person. It's not apostle, the, you know, the woman, meaning the woman in the flesh. It's how God is using her in the office of apostle, a very serious office, to bring forth deliverance, freedom, healing, all the things that, that you've testified about that he's done for you. Amen, yeah. And that by the end of this service, you know, she doesn't just say things. The Lord told her, you don't ask of me, you command. He's given her that authority to command. So when she says your voice, voice. we'll be back by the end of the service. Do you receive that? I receive it in Jesus' name. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And is there anything else you want to say, my sister? Just want to thank for giving God thanks, praise, glory, and honor for speaking to the new office, and speaking to Apostle Sharon to me. Because I'm going to take in is what he's saying, and I'm going to focus more on him, and I'm going to put myself out there to him because he's the only person that is right there for me right now. And I don't want him to turn away from me. Because, you know, a lot of times we think that, oh, that person needs us so much. Oh, you know, my mother needs me. My grandchildren need me. My, you know what? They can survive. Okay, they, they can, you know what? It'll be okay. Because if God's got it, he doesn't need our help. He does a far better job than we could ever do. Glory be to God. In Jesus' name, people of God, let's give praise, honor, and glory for what he did for our sister today. In the mighty name of Jesus, he deserves all the glory. Thank you, God, for speaking today, and thank you for your Ten Commandments. You shall have no other gods before me. And people of God, that includes anything. People in our lives, things in our lives, jobs. Money, whatever it is, commandment number one. Let's Amen. take it seriously because God, for him to put it number one, he takes it pretty seriously. Let it not be a blockage or a stoppage in our lives. Go forth, woman of God, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Touching Jesus is all that matters. And your life will never be the same. Come on, um, evangelist, can you sing? Amen. You might don't like it, so you can just go low and sing softly, no problem. Amen. That's in Jesus. It's all that really matters And your life will never be the same There is only one way to touch you just believe when you call me Hallelujah! Touching Jesus, it's all that we matter. Glory, glory. Yababasha! Will never be the 
Mama, 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 kotoria, makundia. Rebecca, toria, sataria, kandoro, bo, shende. Robo, kondori, biya, sandara, ya, kande, kekeke. Roko, sotoria, ma, sataria, kende. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Mako, setri, kandoro, bo, shende. Raba, konda, ma, sotoria, kande. Minister Gay, do um I don't know if it's Minister Gay and I don't know if um Prophetess Michelle was on the line last week. There's a woman that after I don't remember if if our dear sister El Eleanor can tell me what causes me to start praying for her when the Lord bring forth a topic. And there was another lady that said herself as well. Is she online or sister sister um teacher? She said teacher Eleanor. Do you remember what was yes. what bless God, bless God, bless God. Do you remember do you remember what was the topic that causes you to come forth? The topic that caused me to come Possible. Yes, when I was speaking to you last week, the reason why I'm asking you this question is because there was somebody else that I told when you come back this week, I will right. pray. I will pray for that person. So I don't remember what was the topic. What well, you asked was, was there anybody on the line who had uh, never been prayed for? Okay, well, that was the topic. Okay, thank you very much, my dear. God bless you. Stay in tune. God bless you. Stay in tune. Stay in tune. And don't stay that quiet. Yes, ma'am. So, is the, person, is the person online? I forget the person's name. Seems like the person is not on. Pardon me? That's not you, my dear. You are not the person from last week. Hello. Hello? We, we, don't, say, we don't say hello on this line. They bless God. Good morning. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. God, God. I know I know that people want to be prayed for and name it, but just be honest. We have to be honest. Marco Seteri Kandorobo Shende. Robo Koturia Basandai. The lady that just speak, what's your name? Right yes, ma'am. Yes, I'm married to that one. What did she say? I don't understand. Say, can you say it slowly? What is your first Marilu, name? Marilu that one. How do you spell your first name? It's, uh, um, uh, 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 The lady who is speaking, have you ever been prayed for in one of our services? Are you talking to me, Ma? Yes, were you the one that was just speaking? Yes, I, I want to pray for, I want to pray for me. My name is Marie that one. When, when my question was, were you ever prayed for before? No, no, you, you, no, today is um, the first day I come in on the line. Okay. 
Now, what's your last get... four di- what, yeah, what's the last four digits of your phone? Last four. Is it... Hmm. No, that's not the question I said. It does the last four numbers of your phone. Uh, my, phone my phone number is... Uh, no, not the whole number. I said the last four. Is it 8824? Yes. Okay. Mr. Gay, just put it in for me, please. Okay, and and I need you very slowly because it's hard to understand um, you. The, the, just give me the spelling, go, go letter by letter, of your first name, if you will. The first name? Yes, spell it for me slowly. Oh, okay. If she speak your language. Definitely. Can, can, can you try and talk to her to see if she speak your language? Do that for me to make things easy. Yes. Okay, Mr. Mr. Yes. Yes, Okay, so what you're gonna do for me, I'm I'm gonna use you as an interpreter right now, if you don't mind, and and, and I, I need to pray for you because I'm feeling something. Yasha Mako Mama Shatari Kandoro Boshende Mako Sanda. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I need to pray I need to pray for your sister. Michelle, because I'm feeling something is attacking you, Mark. Yeah, Mama! Yes, Mama! Yes, Mama! Yes, I'm going to use it to just interpret it for her, for me, for me, please. Um, When I speak, you speak back to her in your language. Let her tell you what I say. And, you know, tell her what I say and then, you know, make it later a little easier because I can tell that even so the enemy is also messing with her earring. So I have to, you know, get things clear right now where she's concerned. Okay. Tell her what I just say. Yes, my, yes, my daughter. Apostle, Apostle Paul Brie pour vous. Oui. Les dit comme ça, les capables de comprendre que Satan a utilisé les oreilles pour pas tendre bien. Les prêts prier pour vous, ou même tout ça les dit ou qui ont vérité pour vous, ou à oui. Oui, oui, ok. Yes, Apostle, I tell her. Glory, and what she said? She said yes. Marco said we can do the I mean, um, let her know that when she, when she's to answer, she's to say yes, it's true, so that I can, you know. Sister Mary Lord? Yes, you can hear all. Le aposto, le aposto abago, asa kapasen alazi wo. C'est ça, il y a un bagage qui est vérité pour vous, on va dire oui. Ok, ok. Si elle pas pour vous, vous ne 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 pas 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 that's good, yes. Yeah. Glory God. be to God, Eko Shanda. Yeah, and you know, you know, funny life is when she is like when she's saying certain things, I can, my spirit is, is like bringing it out. I see many, with her, I have seen many years, many years of toil and slave many years of suffering Suff yeah, ba, 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 hallelujah thank you jesus for remember we will get up in our 
We say we are we are Pirani. Yes, it's true. It's a lot of years. Marco said to the candle about Shende. Robo Kotoria Basanda. And I have seen in the realm of the spirit something heavy sitting on her. Something. Rebe Asha! We say we. Yes, it's true. Marco set the candle about Shende Rikasa Taria Makunda. Robo Kotoria Mama Sheke. I have seen in the realm of the spirit even where her mind has been. My God Almighty disrupted my God Almighty in a way where sometimes she is like it's, it's like her mind is not her mind. Marco said to the candle Boshende, I have seen something going on with the left eye, but the right eye also is affected. But the left eye is the most affected one. We, 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 on we, 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 Marco said to the candle of Shende, Robo Kotoria Bashanda, I see something going on with her belly bottom. Marco said to the candle of Shende, I want you to speak out clearly um, when you're telling me, yes, sis, yes, um, um, Sister Michelle, come out clearly with me. Yes, you I'm talking, you I'm talking, yeah. She wants you to say it clearly when when you're saying it. With me, with me, with me, with me, with me, with me. With her. Okay, 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 Apostle. Marco said to the candle of Shanda, I see in the midst, my God Almighty, sometimes my God Almighty even constipation of a way. Hallelujah. Lizzie Kosaki, the Papua Liweko, Geko Sipasio, Eskese Verite. We say Verite, say Verite. Yes, Apostle, sometimes she has constipation. Marco said to the candle of Robo Koturia Basanda. Robo Koturia Masse Kanda. I see my God Almighty where the enemy is afflicting with diabetes, my God Almighty. Marco said to the candle about Shende. Robo Koto. Robo Baba! Mama Sata Reko Sende. Roko Sanda da 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 da. Di 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 di. Lodododo. Robo Koto Reba Sanda. I see something going on with her head. We are my God Almighty. Sometimes she feel like as if she have a heaviness on her head. A weight come on her head. Her head like somebody. It's like somebody put their hands on their her head. But it's like a pressing down. It's my God Almighty weight. Yes, it's true, Apostle. Sometimes he feel it. It's very heavy. Yes, it's Marco true. Marco said to the candle Shende. Rabba Kotoria, Marco Sata Mama Sanda. Sometimes it's like she would hear it, my God Almighty, sound in her spirit like slamming of doors. You know, things sound like, you know, it's a rumbling. Ribi Kandor Boshende. Marco set Marco set a recando Shende. Robo Kotoria Basanda. Roku Sende. Ask her, I said, who do my God Almighty she have in her family? I hear a name called Lizibel. Lizibel. Lizibella or some Lizib. Robo Kotoria Masande. Uh, Pastor 
comme un autre, ou que un monde qui relève les appels, la famille, qui commence par un. Elizabeth. Uh, she, she Elizabeth. Yes, I hear some Elizabeth, some Elizabeth, Beth, whatever. I hear some name call like that. Yes, um, uh, sister Marie Lou, uh, uh, Elizabeth, she said she know that name, but that person, it's not a family. I know, I know, I know, I know. Marco said to the candle about Shende. Robo Koturia Basanda. Robo Kondi Andal Basete. Rikatara Ma Koturia Basende. Robo Kondo Bobo Shata Mama Sanda. I have seen my God Almighty something going on with her feet with her feet and I see even the my God Almighty where her feet is concerned my God Almighty her left feet seems to get affected first but her right feet as well but both of them my God Almighty there's a heaviness on the two feet Rebiosha Yes, Apostle. She feel it the most on the left feet. My God, Marco said. Yes. Mama, 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 mama. Ribia, raka seteri kanda bo shende. Ribia kuturia basanda. Roko seteri kanda. She, I see in the realm of the spirit while she's sleeping. And dreaming, she's getting my God Almighty dream that causes her to wake up my God Almighty very frightened, very frightened. Hallelujah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yes, Apostle. She said mostly at night. Mm -hmm. And when she get up, she's scared and she cannot remember. Marco, yes, because her brains, her mind, my God Almighty has been disturbing with so many things. She, She's worried a lot. Worried is like worried want to, yeah. want to. My God Almighty, Ekondolbo Shanda, Rebbe Kotoria, Baba Baseke. Roko sandara ba 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 kende ri kandara bo shende. Raba ba 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 roko seteri kandai. It's like worried my God Almighty want to take over the whole entire mind. Her mind has been my God Almighty as if something stuffed up in it. That is the reason why she can't able to my God Almighty con and she's also afraid of death. Lord Jesus. Marco said it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. To me because I, I have a post on the line. She said, sure. She's sick a lot. She's very worried. And she's she worried about death. Marco said. To me more, I said no. Mark, right, glory be to God. Marco said to the candle Boshende. Because, my God Almighty, in the midst of her family, there are so many tragedies, so many sudden, so many people die. My God Almighty, and there is no remedy to what happened. Somebody's driving, somebody's driving. Let Marco said to the candle about Shende. Robo Kotoria Baba Sanda Ribi Katoria Baby Keke. Roko Sanda Mama Shinde. I have seen my God Almighty. I don't know if she know of it, but in the midst of family, I have seen people, my God Almighty, go just leave their leave out and never return back because of accident death. Les gens qui ont fait des choses, ils 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 ont fait
Il n'y a pas de jambes tournées parce qu'il y a un problème d'accident. Est-ce que ça c'est vérité? Yes, yes. Il y a un apostle. Marco said to the candle motion there. Rabba Kotoria Basanda. Also, my God Almighty, see in the midst of her family where baby died. Baby just died. You don't need to explain. Pardon, speaking. Um, she said uh, most of them live in Haiti. She doesn't know about that part yet. Okay, she okay. To explain to me, I said I don't need to know. Okay, okay. I understand. Marco said to the candle bush in there. Rabba Kotoria Mama Sundo Roko Sataria Mama Sanda What I have seen my God Almighty it is a it is a blockage of generational curse and also witchcraft voodoo voodoo Yes I post So my Lord Marco said to the candle Boshende, Mama Shanda, Rebe Kotoria Basata, Roko said to the candle, these things, these are things that occurred from, my God Almighty, many of these things occurred from, you know, all these four parents way back, that my God Almighty has done things and has claimed people in the family to be my God Almighty, you know, for ritual. Amen. Ma cosette le cando lo scende. Robo Kotoria Basanda. Robo And because her spirit man is not that strong in God, she's getting so much effect from these things, especially in the spiritual realm when she's sleeping. Mm -hmm. 